Hey, what's up my fellow creators? It's your boy Sean D here. So we are actually at the wedding uh, ceremony um, venue at the moment, so that's fantastic. We are busy shooting a bit of B-roll, the props, uh, the decor, busy shooting at the man cave. So we're getting the groom and his best man, so, so a couple of shots there. So, so I want you guys to meet the team today as well from Pioneer Studios. So I'll introduce you guys to, to the team that I'm working with and that, that I'm doing my internship under, so that's fantastic. So quite a couple of things planned for today. Yeah, let's let's go inside and see what they are doing. Let's grab a few tips from them. That's the most important thing and that's why we're here is to learn, to grow, to experience and to create. That's that's what it's all about. So yeah, let's go. Hey guys, so just a quick tip um, that I just grabbed from Melissa. These things, these things, the wedding rings, be super, super, super careful. When you work with them, you do not want to lose them. You as the photographer or the videographer do not want to take responsibility for the fact that the rings are lost. So that's super important. So make sure that you protect them, put, your, on your, put them on your finger or just put them back in the case. So make sure that they are safe super important so just a quick tip quick tip here yeah. uh, let's let's go back and see what's happening Okay, so we just completed the shoot with the gentleman, um, so, so that went well. I showed you guys now a bit of behind the scenes, so that was fantastic. Um, so now we're moving into the bridal suite where the bride and the bridesmaids are getting ready. So that's superb. We, we're also going to get a B-roll there um, and also just a few things. So uh, just another thing that I can give you, a tip that I can give you guys from my side. I'm just moving this side because it's a bit more quiet um, inside. <laughs> the ladies are a bit excited and going going on. So um, one tip that I can give you guys, uh, when you are working with the, the groom's clothes or the bride's clothes, make sure that it is secure, they don't fall on the ground. That is imperative. Um, I think just make sure that everything is secure and don't make their clothes dirty before they're supposed to walk down the aisle. So just another tip, keep that in mind. And it's also about quality. Uh, make sure that your exposure is right. Check your camera settings the whole time. Um, that's something that I've learned because it can happen so quickly that your images are blown out and it's difficult to get them back in, in post-production. So also very important. So, so let's head to the bridal suite. Let's see what the ladies are up to and then we'll take it from there. So at the moment, um, Melissa and Reinhardt are shooting the dress. Um, I'm on watch duty. I'm protecting the goods. Yeah, it's, it's very important to protect and make sure that uh, things are safe because, yeah, it can get lost. So we're trying to prevent that from happening. Um, so at the moment, I'm just uh, 
waiting until Reynard is getting here. Melissa got the shots. If, if you're working together as a photographer and a videographer, make sure that you communicate with each other. Make sure that you interval. Uh, the one shoots the dress, the other one shoots the props, um, like the bouquet, the, the earrings uh, and so on. And then after that you switch. Make sure that you, you're constantly keeping busy um, and you're getting things done in time. Because you want to give yourself extra time because a wedding can move fast. Uh, it can get a bit fast. So so yeah, at the moment I'm, I'm on a slow go, I'm just protecting the goods, making sure that everything is safe, I'm waiting a bit, just taking a seat, relaxing a bit until uh, the next step. So yeah, I'll show you guys how this looks, it looks quite nice, nice shoes, nice bouquet, nice earrings, everything. So I'll, let me show you what that looks like and then we wait. <laughs> Okay, so just a very important tip, don't leave a camera bag open. <laughs> the cameras might fall out, so, so that's imperative that you keep the case closed. Um, so for this ceremony, we're actually doing a full ceremony recording. So I'll show you guys how we set up the tripod, um, why we set it up where we did, um, and then we hopefully can get started with the wedding itself. So yeah, stick around, it's gonna get interesting. So the two, 200D has been set up here as you can see on a decent tripod so that we can get the bride and the groom in at the same time from one angle so so we're only doing one angle at this specific location so as you can see here uh, we should with the 50 mm lens cover both of them um, quite sufficiently in terms of framing The ceremony is basically finished at the moment um, so yeah it was a nice ceremony um, they said their vows and everything so yeah it's it's quite the, the day I'm gonna be honest the day is getting a bit long um, but at the end of the day um, we are having people um, shooting as you can see we've got the horses and stuff here at the background so so that's quite cool the exciting part is starting again so we can get a bit more energized um, but yeah, I, th I think it's also important to have a couple of different views when you're doing the ceremony. So if you can have an extra camera on a tripod, it's so much easier to have it um, aside. You know, just put it in one of the corners so that it captures um, an extra angle. It's, it's easier to cut to um, when you can mix that with your B-roll. So, so very important, if possible, very important. So, so take along all the gear that you can. I'll probably see you guys again inside when we're doing the party um, and so on. Um, so yeah guys uh, thank you for joining me on this journey today um, remember to hit the like button subscribe hit the bell icon all of those things fantastic I'll see you creators on the other side